for this version of Hakuo Era 1, version 1, we're really trying to pull the head down to knee. But it's not, but this is not really just about the actual technique, but it's about the whole concept of controlling. So when we're in this clinch mode, the clinch, so when we're in this clinch mode, I'm trying to gain dominance of the position so that I could knee him. So when we're clinching, I'm clinching, I'm trying to bring my arms inside to control. So I'm trying to bring my hands inside. One is okay, two is better. When we're pulling the head down, we're not just trying to pull the neck, because the neck is strong, you can pull his head up. But when you go down up here on the head, right here, and you pull down, go ahead and try to pull it up, you can't pull it back up. So now he's in trouble. Just for that split second is all I need. Right here, I could throw the knee, boom, straight in, or preferably, I would knee his face. When I knee his face, I could also jump, jump a little bit to add more power. When I knee his face, boom, right here, as I pull his head down. Sometimes I would do this motion where I pump, that's why they call it pumping the head. Pump it, boom. And if he still has control a little bit, I would redirect him to make him lose balance. Right? I'll redirect, boom, right here. As soon as he loses balance, that's when I, boom, throw that knee. Okay, so again, we're clinching. We're clinching, right, we're switching hands. This is okay, but I wanna bring both my hands inside. So I'm gonna find a way, just like this elbow is inside, to slip it in, probably sideways. If I'm too straight, it's harder for me to bring my arm in because he's just right here, and I can't really do it that well. I have to do something else. So I'd have to do it sideways like this, or do it sideways at an angle, bring it in, and once I establish this dominant position right here, I'm not just pulling his neck, I'm pulling his head right here, keeping his head down, even just for that split second. Okay, but my arm's gotta be inside as well. Because if my arm's not inside and it's wide like this, he's gonna hug my body. He's gonna hug my body. Yeah, he's gonna hug my body. Go hug it. And if I'm not paying attention, he's gonna bring, he's gonna hug me lower. And then he's gonna hug in. Boom. And then I'm gonna fall down. See? So I wanna make sure that doesn't happen. So when I'm doing this, he, he tries to hug my body. I create that distance, see? I bring my body out like this, and then I could knee again to, make, to give him something to think about. And then he was still trying to hug me. Again, I uh, separate my body, knee again, until he tries to clinch again, and tries to find a way to get out, okay? But once I have this position, I could pump his head, redirect, and then knee, or once I get his head like that right here, boom, I just throw that knee, okay? Oh.